Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to go over how to clean and lubricate your CZ75 series pistols. Now there's a ton of them that are all going to fit to this category from the old school previews to all the way up to the SP01s and all that stuff, the new fancy ones that they have. They're all pretty similar which is one of the beauty beauties of the uh, CZ design I should say. So what we're going to do today is just show you how to do it and we're going to make this video from the uh, perspective of someone who's really new to firearms just picked up a new CZ, great choice by the way, and uh, wants to know how to properly maintain it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to go over it, just sort of Barney style, real basics, and uh, assume you guys don't have a base of knowledge. So that's what we're gonna do. Enough yapping by me, let's get into it. Before we get into the actual cleaning, we're gonna show you what we're using here. Uh, I like to do this on the cheap as I do shoot a lot of guns and clean a lot of guns. So we just have some cut up t-shirt patches, I think this one started out life as a BCM shirt. Not sure. Either way, uh, cut up t-shirt patches if you guys want to buy like store-bought patches and stuff, caliber specific and all of that, by all means have at it. Um, these will work just fine though. Just make sure you cut them to the right size and you won't have any issues. We have uh, one of these Tipton uh, polymer picks. Um, a lot of folks like to use dental picks, which is generally okay. Um, keep in mind that a lot of them can be harder than the actual um, finish or steel that your gun is made out of, and they can scratch and gall it. So I like to uh, use these Tipton polymer ones. They come in like a four pack or a three pack, um, and they're like three bucks on Amazon or four bucks or something like that. Uh, so really cheap. I have like five packs of them. <laughs> um, and this little uh, rod, most pistols will come with one. This one here is a Glock one. Um, but the vast majority of pistols will come with one. Your CZs will come with one if you bought your CZ uh, original new in the box. Uh, toothbrush. And then these are both um, CLP. It's break-free CLP. Again, we'll put a link down below. Um, in terms of cleaners and solvents, um, and lubricants, there's a lot of good ones out there. Um, Break Free CLP, uh, CLP standing for uh, Clean and Lubricant Protectant, or I don't know, a lot of people say another P, but don't worry about it. Uh, that's what it stands for, so it does everything reasonably well, nothing extremely well. It doesn't do a great job at cleaning, it doesn't do a, a superb job at lubricating, but it does a good job at most of those tasks um, and works well. Um, a lot of folks like to use solvents. Uh, I find that, especially on pistols, it's really not necessary at all, unless you're shooting thousands and thousands of rounds. If you are, you're probably not watching this video. Um, so, but you know, if you want to, by all means, feel free. Um, it's just fine. So that is that. There's other good lubricants out there, of course. A lot of folks like Fire Clean. I like Fire Clean. It works well. Um, Flip 2000, stuff like that. Uh, some of the less uh, chemical solvent type ones. But CLP has been working for a long time, so we're going to go with that. It's also very common. All right, first thing we're going to do is hit our mag release here. Release the magazine, set that off to the side. Put the uh, gun locked to the rear. Make sure it is clear. Check in there. It is clear. There's no magazine. That's the case. So we're going to let that go home. At this point, on just about every CZ pistol, there's two little notches here on the uh, slide. Now, an easy way to do this is to let your hammer go forward. And if you put your hammer on half cock there, it'll line right up. That's kind of a little trick to it. So take the bottom base plate of your magazine. Turn it over, hit our slide stop, it'll pop right out. Set that off to the side and your slide will go forward. We'll set our frame off to the side and take off our uh, recoil spring and guide rod. Some of these will be captive depending on your gun. Some of them will not be. Take out our barrel and that's the disassembly there. That's your field strip pistol. The first thing I like to do is just take a patch of t-shirt patch or whatever, spray it with some CLP. And uh, we're just going to run that through the barrel. Now, the reason we do that is uh, one of the benefits of CLP is that it sort of works by breaking down carbon over time. Um, so while you run it through, it will continue. If I can get it lined up right, it will continue to break down the carbon as we're doing the rest of the cleaning that's in the barrel, in those lands and grooves there. So we're going to set that off to the side. Um, and now at this point, we're just going to spray uh, the surface areas that we see um, here on the slide, this area behind uh, the firing pin. So right up in here, if you have a B model pistol with a firing pin block in there, it's fine. Everything else is going to be the same. So we're going to spray in there and also down here where the barrel lugs are. We're going to do the same here on the barrel. Just kind of wipe that around and let the CLP start breaking down that carbon. If you have a uh, recoil guide rod that comes out, you can just wipe that down with some CLP. Um, now here in the frame, 
we're going to spray down basically right here in the trigger. Some folks say to spray back here, but you're going to see that we don't really need to do that So uh, on this pistol. So spray there. And at this point, we're just going to take our toothbrush and start working that around. We'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what we're doing a little bit better. So <clears throat> just trying to get in any of the areas there that you can see carbon, or if you see wear on it, it's generally an indicator that carbon's going to be nearby. On the CZs, you want to make sure that we're getting in these slide rails as well, which are inside on the frame. And get in our magwell. And then back here in the trigger mechanism. The reason that I say not to spray back there, number one, you don't want a whole lot of excessive oil in there. Um, number two, um, the oil that we bring up here from the front, from the brush, is plenty to get back there. And you can actually see it has a light coat of oil on there. So uh, that will do the job. Take our hammer back to so make sure we can get back in there. And then set that off to the side. We're going to do the same here on the frame. The reason I'm angling this down is because you don't want to get uh, lubricant in your firing pin channel. So it's just always kind of best to angle it down while you do this. Um, you can uh, definitely brush up in there on that uh, where your firing pin comes out, on that little breech face there, down there in where your barrel lugs are, and then as far forward as we can get with our brush. And we're also going to want to brush in the rails there on the slide, which on your CZ, of course, are on the outside of your slide. Same thing on the barrel here, just go all the way around. This one's not too dirty in all honesty. I probably only have like 50 rounds through it since it was last cleaned, but I figured it'd be good for a video to demo it. And you wanna focus there on your lugs. They tend to be relatively dirty. And of course here on your, uh, right around the chamber, the chamber mouth, the feed ramp, all that stuff. So get in there and that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna take a fresh piece of t-shirt or patch and just wipe all that excessive CLP up. Another piece you want to take a look at here is right on the crown. Make sure we're getting that. And uh, if your gun's really dirty, you know, you might have to do this a couple times to get all that carbon out. And uh, I always tell people to clean to their standard because guns, particularly guns that are well-made, good designs, like a CC75, for instance, will run, I mean, pretty dirty for a long time. So if you're doing this process, even to a minimum standard, just wiping things down, you're going to get a plenty clean for it to function fine. So, but some folks like to get their gun super clean and that's fine. I see no problem with that. Just, uh, everybody's a little bit different, but a lot of people won't come until they're, will keep cleaning until everything comes out white and that's fine. I tend to not be like that, but I keep my guns clean for sure. So, we're going to get in the rails there in all these little crevices with our pick. And you can see here why if you had um, metal dental picks, you could definitely scratch this one up. Of course, this is a well-worn gun. This gun has thousands of rounds through it. Um, so this one here, I'm not too worried about the finish because it's pretty messed up at this point. Now you want to make sure you get down there in the barrel, where the barrel comes out, I should say, not in the barrel. And also, you're going to want to do where your uh, recoil spring and guide rod go. So you can kind of push it through. And then down in the little crevice there where our uh, guide rod goes. If you guys don't have any picks, a lot of people like to use um, toothpicks. Or not toothpicks, excuse me, Q-tips. Not a huge Q-tip fan for gun cleaning. And the cotton just tends to get in everything. My experience anyway, a lot of folks swear by them though. So to each their own, I suppose. Now, one thing to keep in mind when we're doing this down here around the trigger housing, either front and back, is that you don't really want to force anything. Um, some of the springs in there, some of the levers can easily be broken. Um, not easily, but if you start forcing things, they'll, they'll get broken easily. Um, so, just want to be gentle with that. If you can't get into somewhere, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just get into what you can get into. And uh, one thing to think about too, as well, is in your magwell, you want to get any of the dirt out of there and, and oil. Magwell should be relatively uh, oil free. I would definitely not put any extra oil in there um, and wipe anything that you can get out of there. Um, it just doesn't do any good. And then here on the back as well, I want to make sure we get underneath our rails. That area tends to be a little bit dirty. And then back here again, anything you can get to is fine. Just don't force it. And now we're going to go over to our barrel. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to take the same little pistol thing, cleaning rod, push that through. 
like I said, this one here is pretty clean. So, honestly, if I was cleaning a dirtier gun and I got it to the point that it was that clean, I would just stop. So, you can look down there, check out your uh, rifling there, make sure it looks good. And that's it. One of the beauties of using a CLP type product as opposed to a solvent is that it leaves kind of a thin coat of oil on the gun as is. And one spot I just missed and I just thought about it is that breech face right there. Um, you definitely want to get in there. And then additionally, this is your extractor right here, which is uh, going to grab onto the round to pull it out during the uh, firing cycle. So let me see if I can show you here. Right there. There you go. Right there. It's your extractor. Definitely re recommend uh, getting a pick and going underneath there and cleaning that claw out because that claw gets quite dirty. And then all the way up there on your extractor or your breech face as well. And you can see there's just a little bit of dirt. Like I said, this one really only has about 50 rounds through it. So, um, like I was saying though, the benefit of using a CLP type product is that it leaves a thin coat of oil on there, which is great for corrosion resistance, also for lubrication. So, Kind of have to worry about less less you have to worry less i should say about spreading it around so what we're going to do here is just uh right here on your lugs of your barrel i'm going to put a drop of oil on each we're also going to do the same on the side one of the beauties of a cz pistol is a relatively forgiving in terms of lubrication i'm gonna put a drop down in here as well and just a drop you can see the wear happening all the way around the barrel here so anywhere you see wear uh, if you get to that point where you have enough rounds through your pistol, uh, that's just kind of an indicator letting you know that that's the spot that you need to lubricate. So uh, just wipe down our guide rod as well. And uh, some of you guys, depending on your model of your pistol, will have an uncaptured spring, and there will be two different ends. Uh, one will be pointed, one will be flat. These happen to both be flat on this particular pistol, but if you have only one that's flat, you want to make sure the flat end is where you uh, put the the guide rod through. So you'll see that little knob right there on your guide rod. That's going to go into the little notch right there on your barrel. So we're going to put that through and get it locked in. Now at this point, um, basically back here and your hammer spring right there, put a drop of oil. It's not too picky if you don't do that. We're going to put one right here as well on that spring. Keep those springs lubricated. Now at this point you can either take your oil and put it inside here or you can put it on the outside of your slide. I tend to find that it does, at least for me, seems just easier to put it on the outside of the slide. And uh, these bottles here, we'll put a link down to them, but they're oiler bottles. They used to be available at Roundhouse, but they discontinued them, but there's some on Amazon now that work uh, just fine. So we'll put a link down to that. Now at this point we're going to put our slide into our frame. We're going to take our uh, slide stop here and just put a thin coat of oil on there. You can see that there certainly is some wear that's happening there. So keep a little bit of lubrication on there. We're going to do the same thing as we did when we disassembled it and lined those two notches up. Put that sucker through. At this point, like to the rear, send it home, test it. Cycle the action while you hold the trigger back. Resets. If you have a model that has a decocker, go ahead and hit your decocker. If you have a model that has a safety, put your safety on and test that. Should not fire. And it looks like your pistol is back, assembled, clean, lubricated, all that jazz. So at this point, you can just wipe down the outside, get any excessive lubricant off there, and you are done. That's really all there is to it, as you guys just saw. Um, not too complex. Once you know how to do it, it's not intimidating at all. If you guys have any questions that we didn't cover in the video here, by all means, post them in the comments section. We'll do my best to help you guys out with those questions. But uh, certainly, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.